everyone. Today's DIY is going to start with two of these woodcraft blocks from Dollar Tree and I will be painting all sides of them with this chalkboard paint also from Dollar Tree. Someone did tell me that if you are going to use it as a chalkboard to add a few layers of paint, I am not planning to write on it as a chalkboard. And so one coat on each side basically did the job for me on these blocks. While those dry, I have these two little drawers from Dollar Tree as well. I'm gonna take the inserts out and I just want to show you the size difference here. So I have another wood block and if I were to insert it into the cover of the drawer, whatever it's called, it kind of just swallows the block up. They're way too big, but the actual drawers themselves are a much better fit. Now they do slide to the back a little too much. I'm sorry if you're hearing banging, it's fireworks. So I'm going to take one of the tumbling game blocks and put it in the back. And as you can see, it makes the cube sit flush with the drawer. So I'm just going to hot glue one block in the back of each drawer. Now I'm going to start to paint these in the black chalk paint. I'm going to be gluing these two sides together. So that's why I'm not completely painting them. But for the rest of the box, I will be painting the inside and the outside parts until everything is well coated. So once they have dried, this is how they came out and I am ready to hot glue them together. And as I said before, I will be hot gluing the cutout parts of the boxes facing each other. These boxes are not exactly the same dimensions. One is actually bigger than the other one. So when I glue them together, I make sure that they sit flush with one another so it's not quite so obvious. And I use the cute little pink clamps from Dollar Tree to hold them together till they dry. Meanwhile, our blocks are dried and I'm actually going to use the chalkboard letters stickers from Dollar Tree as well. They have smaller numbers, but I'm gonna use the bigger numbers because these blocks are two and a half, two and a quarter inches um, all the way around. And I'll be using this little calendar, the blocks from this calendar, also from Dollar Tree to reference so I get the right numbers. And I'm basically going to copy the blocks exactly, the orientation of the numbers. I just want to be sure that I have all the numbers that I need. I picked this up from the Target Dollar Spot last year. I believe it was $5. And I'm removing it from the base. This is a chalkboard. And I'm actually going to turn it the other way. So it's in sort of landscape mode. And again, I will be using the letters from the chalkboard stickers from Dollar Tree. Now I wanna be sure that the letters are going to show. So I'm gonna place the blocks where I plan on gluing them down later. And then I'm going to use some painter's tape and make sure that I start the letters above the blocks. 
and also it helps ensure that I have a straight line of letters. And it may look crooked, but again, one of the boxes is bigger than the other one, so it gives the appearance of the tape being crooked. Great thing about these stickers, they are repositionable, so if you find yourself having difficulty, you can peel it off and put it back down. Sorry about that guys, there's so many people letting off firecrackers, it's ridiculous. My dogs have their thunder jackets on, but I don't think that's helping them very much because the sound is so close. So I did it again, I laid down another line of the tape so that I can continue to lay the words down in a straight line. And I needed like a little apostrophe. This sheet of stickers didn't have one, so I made one by cutting off a little piece of this sticker and then just putting it down right in front of the T of Till. Now I am ready to remove the painter's tape. I added some flourishes in between the letters to take up some of that space. Now I have the bottom of the sign, the holder, and I'm ready to hot glue the blocks down. So I wanna put hot glue along the back of the blocks and hot glue them to the base. I took some of the gingham ribbon from Dolly Tree and made a little shoelace bow and hot glued it in the corner. I then decided that I needed to add more of it. So I'm going to frame out the front of the little boxes in the gingham ribbon. They also have this in black and red if you prefer to use that. As you can see, I added another shoelace bow to the middle of the blocks, and I also framed the front of the sign holder, the base, with the gingham ribbon as well. I have a couple of packages of these miniature trees from Dollar Tree, and I'm going to hot glue the smaller trees right on to the base. And here is our sign set up and displayed. We wish you a Merry Christmas. We wish the highest you can go in counting with the blocks is 95. So you can start about three months out from this sign. I took some of the small wood cubes and stacked them and put a bow on top to make them look like gifts. I hope you guys enjoyed my first Christmas in July project for 2020. If you did, let me know by giving this video a thumbs up. I hope you all are taking care of yourselves. I'll see you in my next one. Bye.